Daily Flames. All right, we're gonna dig in, get right to it here. Louis, Louis is presenting. So we're talking about today, uh, <clears throat> if you really want change in your life, you really truly wanna grow, you have to understand that it's up to you. We've all had stuff uh, that's happened to us in our life um, as a kid, you know, some people deal with more trauma, you know, different, different levels of loss um, of themselves than others, right? But understand that none of that was your fault, right? Of course, you're a kid, your childhood, um, none of that was your fault. You're not responsible for what happened to you as a kid, but you are responsible as an adult now, you are the only one responsible for your healing. It's up to you to choose to take action. You can choose to sit and wallow in it and blame your life for it and blame your relationships um, and blame, point your finger at everybody else. You know, everybody else seems to be, you know, fucking things up for you. You can stay in victimhood or you can choose to do the real deep work and heal. If you really, here's the thing, it's a hard, hard truth, okay? And I go over this with people daily. It's a hard truth, okay? Because what happened as kids is not our responsibility. It's not your fault, it's not your responsibility. However, if you choose to not, if you're telling me you want change in your life and you do wanna grow, and you want you know more good in your life but you're not willing to take action and do the healing you don't really want change in your life that's how it works because if you're if you're not going to commit to releasing your inner child from the victimhood that you've kept it in your entire life that you've kept yourself in your entire life Kind of beating yourself up over and you know it is everybody's else it was everybody else's fault when you were a kid however as an adult looking to other people in your life to fix that for you it's not how it works it's not how it works and actually not taking that accountability um, for change for yourself and to work on your own healing and continuing to point the finger at other people for you to feel better, that, that somehow things other people do impact you, that's all a story. That is, that is a hard truth. That is all a story because you are in complete control of your mental well-being. It's a choice. Now, again, that's something that we've just been trained our whole lives. It's how our brain has been programmed to believe that how we feel is a result of what everybody else around us does. That's a story. That's a story and that's called victimhood. That's called remaining a victim. You know, again, I'm sorry, Louis chewing on his bone right here in front of us. If you're stuck there and you recognize it, it's a, it takes a lot of freaking courage to realize that, that that's a place that you might be. And that's okay. Just know that it's okay because a lot of us have, and I'm included. Like, you know, it took a lot of work for me to come out of a cycle of, you know, what happens in, in victimhood, and come out of a cycle of victim to vengeance. Okay, victim, you know, all these things happened to me, so now I'm, I'm, now I'm a survivor, right? That was, that's the buzz term, everybody. Now you're a survivor, right? And so now I'm gonna show those bitches, right? I'm gonna show all those bitches and it becomes more of a, a vengeful thing rather than healing, rather than taking care of myself and loving myself. When you're looking for vengeance, right? You go from poor me to now I'm gonna kick everybody's ass. You're not healing. You're compounding your issue and you're going to remain.